I know that you're going to want to head over here just as soon as you can because mm -hmm. to take a look at this, all this awesome food we have in our studio this morning, all of it, of course, Thanksgiving theme because mm -hmm. we're less than two weeks away and all of it locally grown. So if you want your dinner table to look something like this on Turkey Day, listen up. We've got Heather Tallman here from uh, Basil Mama telling mm -hmm. us a little bit mm -hmm. about all these wonderful foods. And I love that they're all Indiana grown because isn't that what Thanksgiving's all about? It really is. And here on this table we have you know, smoked turkey from Smoking Goose, you can which is smell it too. yeah, which is raised in northern Indiana with Gunthorpe Farms. We have sweet corn, which is grown in Indiana from husk. We have an amazing bounty, all grown within the confines of Indiana. Now, many folks might not believe that you can really put together a full Indiana homegrown Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. but here's proof that you can do it. You can, from produce uh, from Indy Family Produce, which is grown here in central Indiana, to a variety of honeys and apple butters and apples. Mm pumpkin pie from Cake Bake Shop in Broad Ripple. So we have a really great representation of foods that you can find an Indiana grown label at Marsh and Kroger and Market District and Fresh Time Farmers Market. We're really kind of spreading out everywhere so it's a great thing. So many great places and I don't know if folks at home can tell but um, the pie over here we're going to show you that in a second has like what gold glitter? It's, it's beautiful. I don't even want to cut it. It's beautiful. Well <laughs> someone's going to have to eat it right? It's going to have to get eaten. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why do you think uh, Hoosiers care so much about about eating these locally grown foods? Well, I think more and more people are caring about where their food comes from. And before it was, you know, you could know where your milk comes from and your eggs and that kind of thing. A lot of it was coming from Indiana. But now you can go to the website and learn more about where each individual thing comes from and you can buy it at your grocery store you're already shopping at. Now we have to ask this because I know people wonder about cost. Are you going to be paying a lot more for locally grown? You know, I really don't think so. I think getting the labeled foods in the grocery stores where we are already shopping is really helping the consumers find it. Mm -hmm. And it generally um, is cheaper and a better quality than anything you're going to be getting with the big you know, box name. Now because locally grown is so popular right now, is there anything to watch out for to make sure that yes indeed this is really a locally grown product? Well I will say anything that has the Indiana grown label on it you can you're feel good. good about. Okay, you're good with that. What's your favorite? That corn oh, looks good over there. I hate to, it's like picking a favorite child. <laughs> um, I, I love fruits and veggies and you know I don't have it up here but we, I mean, Indiana has so many great wineries and breweries yeah. and you know who can beat gluten free cookie mixes and granolas and mm -hmm. pie and pie. <laughs> and looking at this, is this rainbow chart? It is, it is. That's from Indy Family Produce. They just picked that on Thursday. Um, we put together this basket. So this is something that you can get at the grocery store that isn't mm -hmm. traveling state lines. It's coming from right here where we live. And that chart is so beautiful and it the is. colors are festive and very mm -hmm. Thanksgiving themed. Heather, mm -hmm. thank you so much thank for you. being here with us. Now we have an entire turkey to eat. So <laughs> we'll get to work on that. Thanks. Thank you so much.